Hey there, I'm John Siskovich. I want to talk about my DIY livestock trailer. So I have this dump trailer. The dump trailer, brand new, was $6,500. $6,500 brand new. And that's this black trailer right here. It will carry 12,000 pounds, 10 to 12,000 pounds. Um, you can load it just so you're under the limit where you need a specialized license. I also factored that in when I was buying my truck that my truck can handle most of the load that this trailer can carry and that combined uh, it's been super versatile for me on farm. I've moved material, I've moved pigs, I've moved stuff and you name it this trailer has done it for me. It's been great. It's what I now bring my chickens to the processor in uh, when I'm processing my chickens. So I have this dump trailer and I have to move pigs. I start often pigs this week and I need to move them around and I needed a livestock trailer. Now I did make the investment of 6,500 bucks on this trailer knowing that it would cover a broad spectrum of things I wanted to do. Instead of getting a dump truck or a uh, truck with a dump body, I got the dump trailer. It's more versatile. I can move equipment, blah, 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 blah. So with this, I'm going to now take you around uh, what I did to make a livestock trailer. So walking around the pig trailer, this trailer, had some slots for two by fours, both this way and that way. And I utilized that to make mobile sides. So this one side comes out all as one unit and then slides back in when I need it to. And gravity keeps it there, plus a little bit of a, a keeper screw so it doesn't walk away from me. And then on the front, a very similar thing where I just took some two by fours, put them in those slots, built up a little fence around it. I added in that two feet of plywood to protect the animals for smaller animals so that they wouldn't jump out uh, and just a little wind protection if I have to travel a little bit of a distance. And then for my gate in the back, I have folding doors, the metal ones that came with the trailer and then the wooden ones that I built that I put a latch on and you can see I've got a little bit of an overlap here. So this laps that door and everything closes up nice and tight and secure. I spent a little extra money on some heavy duty hinges because these doors are gonna take a beating. And that's that, that's my livestock trailer. Very exciting. So what I'll do is I'll back this up to my pig pen. Under here is some equipment ramps and those ramps slide out. And I have another piece of plywood with little strips screwed in across it so that the pigs have some grip. And I've done this in the past, so it is successful. I have tested this. This is something that I do. Uh, I had this mostly pre-built, and I just added some new additions, like these new fancy doors on the back. Um, but put those equipment ramps out, put that plywood on top of it with the strips so the pigs have a little grip. Pigs are super curious, and I know this doesn't work the same for everybody. I'm going to get some comments on this. But in the past, I've had pigs just walk right up. What I plan on doing this time, because I need to get four pigs at a time inside this trailer, um, I'll put some food in here, I'll back it up the morning of. It's new, they're curious, they're gonna wander up. Hopefully four of them wander up and I can just shut the doors and it's the four that I want. That's not gonna happen. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is build a corral out of cattle panels and in that corral, try to get four pigs in it, entice them with some food. I'm letting their food run a little bit low right now, but not so low that they might test the fence. And uh, try to coax them in. If you want to see all that happen, I'm going to do my best to videotape it tomorrow morning. Uh, I am a two-man show, my wife and I, so you know we'll do our best to video record. You can subscribe to this channel. As soon as I have it recorded, I have two chances at this, this week and next week. Um, I will have it up on the channel. But this is my trailer, which I bought new. It's been super useful. I took some scrap wood and I bought a little bit of wood uh, to make this livestock trailer. Uh, I know that you guys might comment that there's no roof. For now, I'm going to put some ribs across it and put a tarp over it and just stretch a tarp. I don't have to go that far. In the future, I might do something more legit, but it's heavier, it might not be necessary. So if the weather is going to cooperate, I might just leave it open, have them in an open trailer. They have space where they're protected from the wind. And uh, yeah, that's all the details I can cram into a three minute video. Thanks you guys for watching this. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. This is working so far. Uh, stay tuned for that video on getting the pigs inside this. It is surely going to be a fiasco. I'm really excited for it. And until next time, I will see you out in the field.